Hello and welcome to our video. My name is Kevin Carpenter. My group members were George Goddard, Sarah Nikolai, and Jaya Joseph. Today we'll be talking to you about floor and ceiling functions. Uh, some examples of useful properties of the floor and ceiling functions are as followed and shown on your screen. The floor of the real number x is equal to the integer n if and only if x is greater than or equal to n and less than n plus 1. The ceiling of the real number x is equal to the integer n if and only if x is greater than n minus 1 and less than or equal to n. The floor of x is equal to n if and only if n is greater than or equal to x minus 1 or less than and equal to x and so on and so forth. A couple of other interesting ones are that the floor of negative x is equal to the negation of the ceiling of x. Also, the ceiling of the negation of x is equal to the negation of the floor of x, and so on and so forth. You can look at these, they're pretty useful. The examples we'll be using are as followed. Example 1 is from Discrete Mathematics 6th edition in section 2.3, number 9. Example 2 is the same edition and same section, number 45. Example 3, same edition and section, number 49. And example 4, everything's the same except the number is number 53. In example number one, we'll be just looking at some basic uses of a floor and ceiling function. For example, the ceiling of 3 quarters, or 0 0.75, is 1. The floor of 7 eighths is 0. The ceiling of negative 3.4 is 0. The floor of negative 7 eighths is negative 1. The ceiling of 3 is 3. The floor of negative 1 is negative 1. Something we can see from that is the floor or ceiling of an integer is itself. Uh, a couple more complicated examples would be uh, the floor of 1 half plus the ceiling of 3 halves is then equal to 1 half, or the floor of 1 half plus 2, which is 2, because the floor of 2 and a half is 2. Finally, looking at an irrational number, which is pi, 3.14159, and so on and so forth, the floor of 3.14159, etc., etc., is 3, and the ceiling of that same number is 4. If you have any questions, you probably should look in the book for more examples. On to example number 2. Uh, we are trying to show that if x is a real number, then x minus 1 is less than the floor of x, which is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to the ceiling of x, which is less than x plus 1. So first you want to write the real number x as the floor of x plus epsilon, where epsilon is a real number with epsilon greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1. Because epsilon equals x minus the floor of x, which is to say the remainder between the value and its the next lowest integer, it follows that 0 is less than or equal to 1 minus the floor of x, which is less than 1. The first two inequalities, x minus 1 is less than the floor of x, and the floor of x is less than or equal to x, follow directly. For the other two equalities, write x is equal to the ceiling of x, minus epsilon, where epsilon is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1. Then, the ceiling of x minus x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1, and the other inequality follows. If you need more guidance, look over the table uh, that we previously discussed about the properties of floor and ceiling functions, and use those to help figure this out. Example number three. 
Prove that if n is an integer, then the floor of n over 2 is equal to n over 2, if n is even, and n minus 1 over 2 if odd. If n is even, then n is equal to 2 multiplied by k for some integer k. Thus, the floor of n over 2 is equal to the floor of k, 2k over 2, which is equal to k, which is equal to n over 2. If n is odd, then n is equal to 2k plus 1. Thus, the floor of n over 2 is equal to the floor of 2k plus 1 over 2, or the floor of k plus 1 half, which is equal to k, which is equal to n minus 1 over 2. This proves our statement, and we can carry on. Finally, example number 4. Let a and b be real numbers with a less than b. Use the floor and or ceiling functions to express the number of integers n that satisfy the inequality a is less than n, which is less than b. The answer to this is the ceiling of b minus the floor of a minus 1. Thank you for watching our video about floor and ceiling functions. Hope you found it informative to some extent. Have a good night and a go blue.